back now with Professor Alan Dershowitz uh, and Jeffrey Tubin. Uh, Professor Dershowitz, um, I mean, fascinating reporting. Uh, yeah. to well, surprise I you? think where we're going is to a subpoena. I think right now the president's legal team should have no interest in answering these enormously broad questions voluntarily. They'll get the same broad questions artfully asked at a grand jury, but at least they'll be able to challenge A, the entire process of subpoenaing the president. They'll lose on that. Second, you think that they will lose I on that? I think they will lose on that. I think they will win on some areas of questioning. For example, why did you fire? What was your motive? What was your reasoning? I don't think you can question presidential acts that are covered by Article 2. But you can't get to intent. I don't think you can or motive. But I think what you can get to is what the president's most vulnerable on, and that is business dealings before he became president. No court is going to deny the grand jury the power to get mm. to those questions. So the irony is those questions that he has the best legal right to prevent are not the most important questions, whereas the ones he has no legal right to prevent are the most vol uh, damaging questions. Jeff, I mean, based on this reporting, and, and, and you know, do you believe what uh, the professor just said, that, that, that the subpoena seems to be where we're heading? I mean, in this article, it talks about how the president is fuming about the Michael Cohen raid, doesn't want to sit down. Uh, talks about it, you know, 20 times a day, I think it says at some point in this article. Right. I, I, I think, yes, I agree with Alan that a subpoena is coming, and I agree that uh, ultimately the president will lose. I, I, I disagree um, that, that the courts will limit the uh, Mueller much in what he can ask. Um, I think he will be allowed to ask about motive because I think it's relevant, but the larger point is I think the president has a way of short-circuiting this entire process, and I think that's what he's going to do, ultimately, which is take the fifth, which oh, is no. refuse oh, to answer. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I finish, yeah, Alan? There's just no which way is, do Which that. is, um, you know, the president will denounce the process. It's a witch hunt. He doesn't want anything to do with this. There is nothing Mueller can do if the president of takes the fifth. Of course there is. And I think, he gives well, he, him immunity, he's number not, one. He's never going to give the president immunity. Of course he is. Let immunity. me tell you why oh, he'll give the president God. immunity because immunity doesn't apply in an impeachment proceeding. And no matter what Rosenstein says, you're not going to get a reversal of the Justice Department suddenly say when the president is Trump, we've changed our mind. Now you can indict him. Now you can prosecute him. So he is at no risk of being indicted or prosecuted. So he is at risk of being impeached. And if he foolishly takes the fifth, he gets to be asked all these same questions under immunity, and all the answers can be used against him in an impeachment proceeding. So I have to tell you, Jeffrey, you're an A-plus student, but boy, on this one, uh -huh. taking the fifth, I'm not even going to give you your grade. It won't happen. Watch it happen. Uh, Watch we'll, it happen. Come He's going to denounce. Come we'll back see. and we'll show we'll this video. So Jeff, the, show well, to, to the professor's point, though, if, if he takes the fifth, Wait, again, I'm not a lawyer. You're saying if he takes the fifth, give him immunity, and that, he but, but his answers can be used against him for in an impeachment proceeding. So, Jeff, why would he take the fifth if that's the case? B because the the Mueller's office will never will never give him immunity. They are not going to give him the opportunity to be excused from any kind of criminal prosecution down the road. I mean, that's what immunity means, is that it, it could never be used against you. So the idea that the president, that the, the uh, you know, this central figure was, is going to be excused from any kind of criminal liability. But, but if, if the Department of Justice believes that a president cannot be uh, indicted, then why would they... I mean, did, would, did the Mueller team somehow fight that? Moreover, well, it's not transactional immunity, it's use immunity. It's so use they, immunity, can, they yeah. can go after him, they just can't use the evidence they obtain or the fruits of that evidence in the criminal prosecution. I, I think the odds of Mueller giving the president of the United States immunity are infinitesimal. It is not going to happen. And the president can end this process overnight if he decides to mm. take the fifth. Bad judgment. It would be as bad judgment yeah. as the, Pete, the lawyers who told President Clinton to testify about about uh, Exactly. He should have taken the fifth, see? He shouldn't have taken the fifth. He should have paid the money. He had an alternative well. <laughs> that didn't even require him to take the fifth. No president has ever taken the fifth. I don't believe any president will ever take the fifth, although we know as constitutional students that the fifth is not an admission of guilt to the That's American true. public. Taking the fifth makes you a Fifth Amendment criminal or a Fifth Amendment president, and that would just be something that I don't think this president yeah. will ever do.